You've been in this situation before. You've spent hundreds of hours of your life doing something totally legal and normal in our ludicrous space game. You have no more blood, sweat and or tears to pour into the made up goal you're trying to achieve. And just as you're about to finish and claim the fruits of your hard earned labor, tragedy strikes. I remember playing DayZ for the first time many years ago when the game was still quite new and seeing a video on YouTube of a player getting robbed at gunpoint. There was VoIP involved, no shots were fired, the perpetrators ran off and the victim remained alive albeit with a few less beans in his pockets or whatever the f*** it is you ate to survive in DayZ back in those days. I thought this was a genuinely interesting piece of emergent gameplay that took place. No developer could have designed that interaction to take place the way it did and the sandbox nature of the game and the looting system allowed it to happen the way it did because the players themselves were responsible for how things played out. I continued to play a bit of DayZ back then but quickly realized the game was devolving into Call of Duty with extra steps and everyone ultimately killed each other on site even though the game and its systems laid the groundwork for more interesting potentially emergent gameplay scenarios to take place. If you're familiar with my content you know I don't really have a problem with hostile encounters. It's the nature of many online games and I'm not even sure if DayZ still generally functions this way but ultimately I don't really care. What I do care about is the future of random player interactions going forward in our ludicrous space game Star Citizen. But why dude I cannot hear you exclaim what's this about a dark forest? The dark forest is a theory that if advanced and intelligent alien life existed throughout the universe it would remain intentionally hidden and undetected because in the event that two civilizations did detect one another, the ultimate and only logical course of action would be the complete annihilation of the detected species to ensure the survival of your species. Obviously Star Citizen doesn't suffer from the reality of the laws of physics, the nature of space time and the potential impossibility for alien civilizations to communicate with one another that would lead to the existence of a dark forest state of the game even though the VoIP is broken we can communicate with each other instantly and in languages we can understand most of the time. But if you were to ask anyone who actively plays the game in its current state when you stumble upon someone else throughout the Stanton system randomly while going about your epic space adventures I'm sure they would have a few stories about how most of their encounters ended up being hostile. Do we want this to happen all the time? Is it even a problem? The reason that this happens at the moment could simply be that there just aren't enough meaningful reasons to do things in the game but even if there were why would you simply not engage everyone you see every time you see them? Just because I'm from Johannesburg doesn't mean I want every encounter I have with another human being to end up as a fight. What I would love to see in the future is for there to be a good enough reason for encounters to not be hostile 100% of the time every time. Huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab oh shit I'm getting f***ed up what the hell. I don't know if it's NPCs. Uh shit. No there's an NPC here. Okay. Carefully up. Oh no. I got him, I got him. Nice. It wasn't an NPC, so it was the Carrick pilot. Global chat certainly exists and if players are winning they can form random groups to cooperate to achieve certain goals. I've done this during Xenothreat and Jumptown in the past and our random pickup groups had some pretty cool times but what I really want to discuss is the future versions of Star Citizen that may have the systems and features in place that could steer random player encounters in ways that would encourage meaningful and interesting gameplay that has a point and furthers your progression in the game in some impactful way. I think 
we would have a more interesting game on our hands considering Star Citizen's vast scope, if hostility and conflict was not always the ultimate outcome that nets you, the player, with the most benefit. Personally, I don't want to see Star Citizen devolve into Call of Duty in space, where every time you encounter another player, the immediate and objectively correct reaction from both parties is to instantly open fire. I think many people want a more sophisticated experience with tangible benefits that make you think twice before committing to combat. I've still added. Oh. Are we soft or hard? No, we're, we're good. I don't believe that anyone really knows for sure how things will pan out in the long run, and there are certainly planned gameplay systems to cater for these eventualities, such as better communication tools, user interface and user experience alongside working VoIP would obviously go a long way to take random player encounters to another level. Um, we are not dead, this ship is salvageable, but the thing is we have no thrusters, so I can't go <laughs> forward or back. But aside from that, a deeper reputation system comes to mind. It's not inconceivable to think that when encountering someone else in game, you might be able to get some kind of scan or reading on them or their ship to find out if they've got a reputation or a capacity for the various so-called careers the game wants to ultimately provide, and then engaging them with whatever services they have ultimately benefit you more than if you just offed them and stole all their shit. It all boils down to incentive, but how do we create this incentive if player 1 murdering player 2 nets them the most resources and gain from a hypothetical encounter? I'm not just talking about resources in the standard sense, because if a murder hobo wants to murder hobo, what possible gameplay mechanics could exist to deter them from their goal? Personally, from my perspective, murder hobos are fine, they add a layer of danger to the game, but what could possibly incentivize such individuals to actually think twice before putting their triggers? In a world where there could be enough survival mechanics built into the game and the cost of surviving is extreme enough and the environment hostile enough, the pool of options available to each player can grow into some pretty cool gameplay scenarios. Okay, so it's definitely locked in a soft death, not soft death state, because yeah. it's lost all its shields oh, and... Sh oh, sh <laughs> What was that? That was the NPC was Mantis. Done? Dude, what is oh, happening shit. in this game? <laughs> Including trading, exchanging data, cooperating to survive, providing unique services or resources to one another, assisting each other with repairs or tweaks to components to survive the current environment. The hopium infused list could go on forever. The problem that I ultimately realized that I had with Daisy back in the day was the threat of the zombies or the environment was not extreme enough to deter the experience from constantly devolving into Call of Duty 99% of the time. What could make Star Citizen unique and different and what incentives could exist to promote player cooperation in various scenarios at least some of the time. Star Citizen has always been a game about incredible potential. To this day, few to very little other titles can provide the experiences I've had and shared with you all on this channel to date and that I've so thoroughly enjoyed creating. Even though the game is still in a pretty rough place with many features and game systems still nowhere to be seen, we can only hope, as always, that this year's the year. But what are your thoughts? I mentioned in a previous video that I would be diversifying the type of content that I do and this is it. Just some random thoughts and discussion that I would like to bring to the table. There will be many more epic space adventures soon, but this has been a topic that I've been interested in for a while now and would love to hear from you in the comments below. Thank you channel patrons and channel members for all your support. Your incredible generosity continues to blow me away. Thinking of pledging to this ludicrous space game then use one of the referral codes on screen now for a free 5000 starting credits. If you enjoy my content and are interested in supporting the channel beyond a like and a subscribe, check the links in the description. Consider the join button below and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash voidude. Your continued support genuinely helps me to continue producing these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around the verse. Cheers. <laughs> Guys, why is my pee blue? <laughs> 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 <laughs>